All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and you want to try out the Mjolnir Forge Editor. Now, this is gonna be that tutorial for you. We're gonna be going through the very basics of everything, uh, nothing too advanced. That's all gonna be coming in other tutorials. This is just the basic, how to set it up, and that's why I'm starting out on my desktop right now. So let's go ahead and jump into it. You're gonna be clicking on the link down below in the description and downloading the latest release of the editor and then you will go ahead and extract it into whatever folder you want this is where i extracted mine right here and here's the two things that will be here you want to open up this one that says forge it has a little blender tool thing right there so you go ahead and click on that and blender starts to load up whenever blender loads up you are ready and set to go now one thing i will say that since it didn't show up for me here because of the fact that i've already done this uh it will say here it'll be like for security reasons automatic execution of python scripts in the file was disabled and it'll like it'll be a pop-up right here you want to go ahead and check the permanently allow execution of scripts and then click allow executions so that is the newest way of doing it. It's real easy and everything compared to the old way of doing it. So this right here, whenever it pops up, you go ahead and do that and you're good to go. Now, one thing that you wanna to do to be able to get, like right now, you don't see Forge World. There's nothing here on the screen. You wanna come over here to the map section over here and click this little checkbox right here. You wanna click that. Whenever you click that checkbox, Forge World will load up onto here, if you notice. Now, if you don't know how to work Blender, click the center mouse button. Whenever you click and hold the center mouse button, that is rotate. If you scroll it, it's to zoom in and out. Hold shift and then click the center mouse, but mouse, mouse button to move it around like this. Now, in order to be able to go into a mode similar to how Forge is, you hold shift and hit the tilde key. Uh, that's the one that's right next to the number one. And there you go, you have a, a pretty much very similar to forge mode here as you can fly around and do that. And whenever you wanna get out of this mode and actually do things and use your cursor, you just click on the screen, left click on the screen and it'll lock it in place where you wanna be. Now, whenever you're spawning an object in, uh, you, it'll spawn where this little red and white circle is here. So what you need to do is click on this up here and if you want an object to spawn near you, you click somewhere right there. That's where your objects will be spawning wherever that is clicked. And then of course you can click back over onto your move tool if you want to. So there's some simple basics right there for a blender. I guess I just went ahead and went over it. So the next thing you need to do is after loading this up is load up MCC on your computer and you know get that loaded up into a forge game so what i'm going to do is minimize that head over into steam head over to my library here master chief collection and let's go ahead and load up the master chief collection right here now uh it's best at least for me personally um i do have this in a windowed mode uh just for right now oh dang it i messed up typical me i loaded it up in normal you want to load up Master Chief Collection, let's go ahead and confirm to cancel out the Master Chief Collection there. You want to load it up in the mode, like not the normal one. You want to hit play. Make sure you load it up with anti-cheat disabled. You don't do that, then you can't do any type of modding and stuff like that. And that's what this is. So load it up with anti-cheat disabled there okay and we'll go ahead and give this a second sorry about screwing that up you know hey this is on the fly it's me doing this to show everyone what this is i'm not going to be cutting this to a whole bunch of pieces i just want to show everyone exactly what you need to do for this whole entire thing so let's go ahead and minimize this just a little bit here uh so it's not as ridiculous um so what you're gonna be doing, go into Creative, go to Forge, go to Halo Reach, and you can load it into Forge World, which that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So let's go ahead and scroll over with Forge World, click on Forge World, you can do basic editing. I always load into Race because it's Race, come on. You, you gotta love Race, okay, everyone? You got to love Race. So there we go, we have this loaded up right here. It's loading. Fantastic, once you're loaded in, that's all you need to do for right now. 
So you just get in, you load in, and now I just go ahead and hit escape so I have my mouse cursor here. And then let's go back into Blender. Now what you want to do here on Blender is you want to uh, click on this file button up at the top. If you notice right now, the uh, some of the things right here are not showing up. Uh, if you notice, the respawn points are not showing up because it's not connected to anything. It's not connected to your game down here. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. You're going to hit file. You're going to go to import and then you go down to forge objects. You click on that import forge objects. There are the three spawn points that are there. You can go ahead and delete those. They don't need to be here. You know, we don't need those forge objects right there. What we need to do right now is uh, let's go ahead and go back to our point down here. We're going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. Go back to our point down here and there we go. And now you want to, of course, put down a put down just a uh, spawn point just so you have some place just in case, you know, you die like or something while you're playing your game in here. You need to be able to have a spawn point. So what you want to do is come up here, click add and then go over to forge object. And there here's all your forge objects. We got structure, scenery, gadgets, uh, spawning objectives and then hidden different things. Structures includes building blocks, bridges, uh, buildings, decoratives, doors, walls, inclines, natural and grid. So it includes quite a lot of stuff. You notice right there, I, I went ahead and spawned in the uh, respawn point and there it is right there. And of course you can move it to however you want, wherever you want on your map and stuff, but we're just gonna go ahead and keep it right there. It's not that big of a deal. And so yeah, let's just say you wanna spawn in a block, a simple block, go back over to forge objects. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn in a good old spawn in a two by four right here so there you go there's a nice two by four look at that beautiful piece right there this is the racetrack piece right there let's go ahead and uh put that so we're, like we're starting a racetrack right here that's what we're doing right now starting a racetrack and if you want to go ahead and duplicate that uh you know you can go ahead and um duplicate it and there you go you know you can have a nice duplication and of course if you want to get closer in See, this is the great thing about PC. You can really just kind of get it exactly where you want right there. It's just so much easier to do different types of stuff like this, you know, uh, just to be able to uh, have an object and stuff exactly where you want on here. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. And there you go. So let's say I built my map. This is my racetrack. It goes into the water beautiful racetrack and i want to go ahead and now import it into the game so all you're going to do is head over to file and click export right here and then go down to forge objects but you're exporting all these forge objects into your game you do that this says here you say i understand I, you know i saved as a backup uh don't ask again and then you just hit okay and boom it's exported so what you do now is go back to your game like so now it's not going to show up if you notice these are all still here um and if you fly over here look there's nothing there's nothing here right now so what you're going to have to do anytime you export into this game what you're going to have to do is start a new round so you just click start a new round hit yes i should spawn where my respawn point is that i placed down and you should see the x the few blocks that i put down and there they are right there there are the few blocks there's my spawn point, uh, so it's perfect. Let's go ahead and move this over so you can see it exactly with the same. There you go. There's the three blocks and the spawn point right there, and you got it. You're done. That is basically what you need to do. You can duplicate things. You can uh, you know, multi-select items in Blender over here. So if I want to go ahead and grab all those items and uh let's just say copy all those so it's kind of like a similar to halo 5 where you can multi-select and you know duplicate items and it's like bam there we go look at that now we have an extra little bridge here so let's go ahead and do the same let's go export that since we added some stuff we exported those items over here go back to our menu here start a new round and then now the all the new items that I placed down should be showing up right here on the map and there it is there it is everyone everything showed up exactly where it should be 
And now we have six items, six blocks here going out into the water and the kill boundary. So if it's really not difficult uh, to do this. It's very simple, you know, to have it. Of course, Blender does kind of lag up a little bit sometimes, especially if you're doing a little more things. And the next tutorial that I will be having everyone is actually going to be a tutorial uh, that will go a little bit more in depth. This tutorial that I will be doing in the next time will actually bring in some other things, like if you're going in to set up arrays. And arrays are different things that are, it's really interesting. You can set up, you know, things like splines and stuff like that, like curve, curvature type of stuff. Uh, so you're gonna be clicking on things and you are going to be adjusting some of this stuff uh, to really just kind of do what you want to do like if you notice this like we can have it like turn all nice and easy something like that uh and then you can even start tilting it if you want to tilt it in there this will i'll go in depth into all this type of stuff in the next tutorial this is a little sneak peek teaser for people who watched all the way till the end congratulations i'm so proud of all of y'all uh but if y'all do want to see more be sure to subscribe and also uh, be sure to, you know, leave a comment down below on what y'all would like to see with this. What, you know, maybe there's something y'all want to see more of. Uh, and also leave a like uh, to help support uh, my videos on YouTube. And I will see you on the next one. And remember, let's forge a new halo.